everyone, Lexi here. This is part one of a two-part process on how to convert a Sims 3 item to Sims 4. Uh, for this video, you're going to need TSR Workshop, your Sims 3 items to be on your game, whether they are expansion packs, base game. Um, you don't need the store items on your computer right now, but you probably should have them. Uh, oh, and uh, S3OC. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get your stuff from the store that you've purchased. Uh, for instance, right now I'm going to do this coffee table that I had bought with real money. Real live money. Okay, hit download. And see? It'll download there. That way it'll be in my mods folder when I go to open it. Uh -uh. So now I go to TSR Workshop. File new. New import. Next. Browse. It's going to be in my mods folder. I'm in here, Sims 3 downloads. I want to make sure that I'm looking for the Sims 3 pack because that's what I have. And it was this coffee table. Open. This is not a Sims 4 package. I always uncheck this. I don't know why. When I leave it checked, the TSR Workshop gives me heartburn, and I'm not sure why. Hit Next. I don't care about that stuff. OK. All right, here's your item. Um, from here, you're going to go to Textures. Edit. That's not actually a thing. Edit. OK, so that's um, this is like your recolorable channels in The Sims 3. So export. You're actually going to use that later. Uh, two, three, there we go. New folder. Tutorial. I'm real creative. Okay, we're going to name this mask. Save. Okay, you want to do that kind of with everything. This is your multiplier. This is what it would look like if you baked it in Blender. I'm not going to cover that today. That's kind of a long ordeal. Export. That's spelled super weird. Okay. Uh, is that everything? Let's look at the specular. Meh, looks fine. Okay. If there's nothing on that, normally I don't export it. Come down here, look at your stencils, make sure that there is no stencils that you want to use. Or if there is, you import them, edit. Okay, so no, there's no stencils. Most important part, you're going to come over here to Mesh. A uh, couple things about Sims 3 and Sims 2 items. They're all very high polygon items. This item in Sims 4 would probably have half of the vertices and um, I'm not sure why that is. It's funny because our computers weren't as great back then. So anyway, but if you come down here to medium level, it, it just looks not as good. So high level, I always export, and then we'll just decimate it in Blender. Uh, export. Make sure that you're exporting it and saving as wave front object. That's super important. If you do workshop object, it will not help you. So. A coffee table mesh. Save. Okay, so and then at that point we'll be ready to go to the next step. But I'm going to show you how to import stuff from expansion packs as well right now. So um, you're going to have S3OC already on your computer. Open it up. Cloning. Oh, um, you have to have all the expansion packs and everything on your computer. All this does is reads what you have. Um, I have 16 different expansion and stuff packs, so this part's going to take a little while. Uh, let's say I want to do from a specific expansion pack, I can go like that. Um, into the future? No, I want to do Supernaturals. Seasons. Okay. Um, What's a good thing to do? Dresser, sure. Okay, so say I want to do this dresser. So, clone or fix. Uh, uncheck this. 
start, save it here in tutorial folder. For this portion you have to, for some reason, delete your name and the little underscore or TSR Workshop like doesn't want to play with it. Hit save. Okay. Then, once again, you're going to open up uh, TSR Workshop, File, New. I don't want to save these because I don't care. New Import. Browse. Make sure that you change this to, was it a dot .package? Yes, it was. Open. It's not a Sims 4 package. Uh, Uncheck preserve ID, hit next. Don't need to worry about that. Hit finished. Okay, and there's your. As you can see, the uh, alpha here had some transparency, so that's going to give us some trouble later on. Once again, you're going to export all this kind of stuff. Well, that doesn't matter because Sims in Sims 4 don't actually open their dressers, which is super handy. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that. Export. Anyway, I'm not going to be actually uh, converting this item, but you get the idea. You would export everything just like we did. Mesh, export it just like we did. Uh, so that is covered expansion packs and store items. If you wanted to do base game conversions, you would go to File, New, No, and you would just come over here and you would go like object next because TSR workshop already has the base game stuff but for some reason it will not read expansion pack items at least not that I'm aware of um, I could be doing this completely backwards but I don't really like uh, TSR workshop I find it to be kind of blocky and hard to use uh, okay, so we're in Sims 3, we go to like decor, say we wanted to do sculpture. All these little pages are stuff you can't use for some reason, it shows up. Okay, so like if we wanted to convert this, we hit this, and hit next, blah blah blah, hit okay. Yeah, and then you would go through and you'd be like, okay, export all this stuff, get your mesh, save it as an object. Okay. So that is part one, guys. Part two is going to be using Blender and Sims 4 Studio. So stay tuned.